Whereas on the Panasonic, if we take a look at it, it has a release button right here that you have to push over to spin around. Good, bad. I like the release button so that screen can't move if I don't want it to. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about this week is a comparison of the GTAC V110 and the Panasonic Toughbook CF19. And I, and I believe that the V110 was brought out to compete against Panasonic's line of CF19. Now obviously the CF19 today is discontinued, but if you recall when the V110 came out, it was alive and well and competing against the CF-19. So I'm going to take a look at it today and see what we got. Uh, the first obvious difference is the screen. The GTAC V110, which by the way is the predecessor, is the GTAC V100, which basically looked the same. It was a little thicker. But the newer V110, the screen is an 11.6 inch screen, whereas the Panasonic screen is only 10 inch. Good or bad, this screen is only 800 nits, whereas the, the Panasonic has a 6,000 nit screen. So I guarantee you're gonna see this in the daylight. This one, if it's really bright, you're gonna have a, a harder time. The, the V110 includes this keyboard. Now I gotta tell you, the keyboard itself, I love this keyboard. Uh, it's, it's nice and responsive. The keys bounce really good. Uh, I feel like there's, there's some, you know, I feel good about typing on this keyboard. The Panasonic, the keyboard keys are smaller. It's not as responsive. In other words, these bounce back nice, whereas these are not as bouncy. Um, and it is smaller, so it's harder to type on this keyboard. Easier to type on this. And, and the reason it has a bigger keyboard, obviously, is because they had to make room for the screen that's larger. Uh, another bonus on this one is the mouse pad itself is larger than the mouse pad on the Panasonic unit as well. So you get in a more area to do mouse work. And then obviously the V110 has the handle whereas the Panasonic you would normally have just put a strap here to throw it over your shoulder. There was no handle. As far as the um, you know, basically it, it, it closes and latches down the same as the Panasonic. Basic same design, it's a little different looking and operational, but does the same thing, it latches down your screen. Both screens on these two units, both of them spin around so that you have uh, the ability to turn into a tablet. Now, the one thing I did notice is that the GTAC does not have a lock. On the, on the spin around. So when you spin it, you can just spin it around without moving a lock. Whereas on the Panasonic, if we take a look at it, it has a release button right here that you have to push over to spin around. Good, bad. I like the release button so that screen can't move if I don't want it to. GTAC, this could spin around for no reason. If somebody bumps into your laptop, that's gonna spin like that. Um, that, that those are the most obvious differences between these two. The other more subtle ones are how thick it is. If we look at the CF-19, it's about a half an inch thicker than the GTAC. And, but, you know, the Panasonic's gonna be slightly lighter than the GTAC. Uh, downside on the Panasonic, it only has one battery bay. The GTAC has two battery bays, and this gives you 13 hours of battery life. The Panasonic, four, maybe five hours, uh, and it's not hot swappable, so you gotta turn the unit off to remove the battery. So those are some really blatant differences between these two units. Port covers, um, I've said it before, the port covers on these units, on this GTAC, are a little uh, clunky, and you've gotta really get it lined up to make sure it closes. If you're wearing gloves, this would be a problem. Whereas the Panasonic, basically, uh, well, we all know Panasonic port covers. You guys have seen me play with these before. They're just rubber and they pop off and then you just pop it in. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done and you can do it gloved. That's one nice feature of that. Other than that, um, Panasonic made sure that you had straps, whereas the GTAC 
definitely has uh, spots for them, but I'm not seeing where you can have a strap on the back. I'm sure you can remove the handle and attach a strap to this. There are some clips here to clip a strap on right here and here, so that is obvious. The, uh, the GTAC does not have that VGA port or SD card reader, whereas the CF-19 has those two ports. That's another obvious difference. Uh, one thing I like about the GTAC is it has these rubber bumpers. I don't know what it is about the rubber bumpers. It makes it feel so much more rugged. And when I drop it, it's bouncing on those rubber bumpers. Panasonic is just straight up magnesium alloy casing, uh, no rubber bumpers, no, no, no frills on this unit. Uh, but basically, in a nutshell, that's the differences on these two units. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys next week.